Okay, what we're going to talk about in this video is infrared heaters. And as you can see, I have with me here three common infrared heaters. Now these aren't the most popular ones, just some of the popular ones. I have the Life Smart, I have the Duraflame, and then the Doctor Heater. And this one here is the dual heating uh, with the PTC heater. This one is the eight heating elements, and then the Duraflame with the six heating elements. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these. We're going to talk a little bit about how they're built, the people that make them, and then of course we're going to put them to the test to see which one performs better. Uh, before I get started, uh, I want to make a note on why I'm not using the Heat for Less. Uh, I've been asked that several times already, and there are several reasons, uh, actually many reasons why I'm not using the Heat for Less, but I'll just give one example. Uh, they advertise that their competitors are only hitting 200 degrees. Um, I've never seen an infrared heater that only hits 200 degrees. All of these are hitting between 5 and 600 degrees. Uh, so it, it was just a little questionable and not for me. Okay, so let's get into start talking about these individually. Let's start with the LifeSmart 8 Heating Element Heater. Uh, now I have my computer here just to help me out with some of the notes in case I forget something. Uh, one of the things I love about this is the coils. Here's an image of what they look like. They're the infrared heating coils, but they're also wrapped in an extra layer of metal to help enhance the heat. Uh, I'm really eager to see how well this one's going to perform. I did open it up on the inside to make sure that it is exactly what they advertise, and sure enough it is. Here is the design. Now this design here is for the six elements, where this is the same exact design just with an added two elements. Goes in the back, goes through the chamber, and then comes out the, the top. I think this is a very nice uh, infrared heating chamber. Now some of the cons about this one. The first con is the wood on how it's made. This is a very cheap press wood. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, they take a bunch of sawdust and saw chips, they put glue and press it together and then coat it in an outer layer to make it look like real wood. Um, when I pulled it out the box, I could see rub marks all around it. We barely hit it with a bag of groceries right here and it chipped the corner. Um, so you wanna be careful with it if, if you choose to use this one. Not to mention I saw a lot of complaints online where people are saying the same thing, that the wood just breaks. Um, the biggest problem I have though isn't necessarily with the heater, it's actually with the company. When I bought this, it was advertised as being an 1800 watt heater. Here's a comment from Amazon where the, the guy says, uh, advertised as being an 1800 watt heater, however put in a test, and it's only 1440 watts. Now when I'm doing this video, it is being advertised as a 1500 watt heater. But that's not the only thing. Here it is at Walmart uh, saying that it heats up 1800 square feet and it does 5100 BTUs. Here it is at Home Depot saying it only heats up 1200 square feet and it does 5200 BTUs. Here it is at Lowe's as heating up 1500 square feet and here it is at overstock.com, back to 1,800 square feet, but this one says it puts out 5,400 BTUs. So what's going on here? Um, another thing is there is this infrared heater that they were selling a while back, and this one is being advertised as a, um, a competitor for Eden Pure. And it's also being advertised as having four infrared heating elements in it. However, when you open it up, there were zero heating elements in it. Instead of the infrared heating elements, it had a PTC heater, which is one of these. Uh, this, is this, this is a PTC heater. It's basically these ceramic things that we see all over the place. Um, this is what was in the inside of this. Now, uh, so if you have this edition, you can actually open it up, look on the inside, and, and sure enough, you're not going to see any infrared heating elements. 
but I did check around to see if this one is still being sold and I couldn't find anywhere that is still selling it. Everybody's saying they're out of stock. So hopefully they stop selling this one or at least they're going to change the advertising. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, now we have the Duraflame. Now, some of the pros and cons about this one. First thing I really love about this one is the case. Um, this is the only one that is actually real wood. Even if this were to be chipped or stained, you can always sand it down and redo it. So the wood on these is, is very nice. Uh, another thing is it is well built. I actually have been taking these apart to go on the inside just to make sure that they are legit. And this one is, is very solid. Uh, the metal is nice and thick on it and the full nine yards. Uh, then it has this design here. So it has six heating elements. They go through this chamber that is heated with copper. Now based off of my research, copper really does enhance infrared heaters, or that's what they say. Um, so I like that it has the copper. And then it comes out the top. I really love this design. Uh, another feature I really like is it comes with the safety plug. A lot of the times, 1500 watts, uh, 1500 watt heaters can be dangerous, so it's nice to see an added safety feature. Now, let me go on to the cons. Um, the problem I had with this is when I started doing the research, I found out that the heater is not really made by Duraflame. This is something that is normal in companies, a company makes it and sells it under a different name. However, I found the same one, that's this one here, that is made by the same company and the price difference is huge. So I'll give you an example. Um, everything is identical. The only difference on the, the heaters is the wood and on the Duraflame when you see the different model numbers, it's normally the different types of wood that comes with it. The, the insides are normally the same, with the exception of they have a three heating element one and then they have the fireplace one. But most of these are, are the same. So everything is identical from the generic versus, or I, I, it's not even generic because it's made by the same people. Um, even the circuit boards on the inside have the same numbers on them. This one was $58 without the Duraflame name. This one was $170. Both made by the same people. Here's the back of the manuals. Even where you see it's the same company, same address. So for me, that's a really big issue when you go from one extreme to the other. So if they're able to sell this one at $58, uh, how, much, how much quality is really inside of this? It just kind of makes me wonder. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we get into the doctor heater. Now, one of the things I love right away about this one is the wood. It's not quite as nice as the Duraflame. However, it's considerably nicer than the Life Smart. Um, it's about what I would expect given the amount that they charge. Uh, another thing about this is the price. Uh, the price is very fair, very consistent. And now even Amazon is starting to sell it under their own name. So now let's get into the cons. Uh, the number one thing I don't like about this is the PTC heater. Uh, PTC heaters, they kill the humidity, they put out a very dry air, and a lot of the times people are going to buy an infrared heater to get away from the PTC heaters because they don't want uh, to have problems with the humidity. And that's why they made the, the one with the humidifier and the oscillating um, feature. Uh, however, the humidifier, it, it's very cheap. You could tell it was just slapped on here and I've already seen a lot of complaints about it. So we'll have to see how that works out. Uh, nonetheless, I am confident it is going to do a very good job of heating and it is advertised as an infrared heater. So that's why it's, it's in this test. Now, when I opened it up and I looked on the inside, I did see a sheet of copper in the vent. It's a very small piece, um, but that's a plus. Biggest, another big problem, aside from having a PTC heater, here's an image of what it looks like on the inside. Nearly this whole thing is plastic. Um, even the fan blades on this are plastic. 
If you take a look, you see the bottom arrow, that's the PTC heater, and then above that is only one heating element, and it's not even in a heating chamber, where infrared heaters typically have infrared heating elements in a heating chamber. This one is just one heating element on the way out. So we'll have to see how well it performs. Uh, let's see, another problem I have with this one is that the filter on the back is kind of cheap, uh, but then again, PTC heaters really don't need filters. So that's about all I have to say about these as far as uh, how well they're built. Let's move on. Okay, now it's time to start testing these. Uh, now I have here a spare room. This is kind of like a storage slash guest bedroom. Um, nobody uses it, so it'll be perfect for the test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two thermometers. One will be placed in the center of the room. One will be placed far side away from the heater. I'm also going to be taking the temperature of the walls to make sure the heat is strong enough to actually change the temperature of the items in the room. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let them run for one hour, come in, take the temperatures, and then I'm going to let them run for a second hour, and that will be the final conclusion. I'm going to do this same test three times on each heater to make sure we get very consistent results. I'm also going to be taking the temperature of the outside weather to make sure we don't get a big temperature shift and take the temperature inside the house as well. If we get a huge temperature difference, uh, I'll give you an example. Say I start the Life Smart at 60 degrees and then I won't do the other one, say the Duraflame, until again it's close to 60 degrees, maybe 61, somewhere in there. What I won't do is start one at 50 degrees and the other one at 60 degrees. All right, so let's see how it goes. Okay, the results are in. So what we did is we took um, all three tests from each one and we combined them all together to get an average temperature. That way we can make sure it's very consistent. Now, the one that came in last was the Duraflame. It was just slightly behind these two, and the one that came in first was the doctor heater. The doctor heater rose the temperature higher than these two. However, it was very, very close. Uh, much, much closer than I originally expected. Uh, let me pull up my computer here. And uh, here's an image of the results. Now, I'm only going to focus on the, the two-hour period and not the one-hour period. The Smart Life did an average of 10.1 degrees in two hours. The Duraflame did 9.3 degrees. And then the Dr. Heat did 10.8 degrees. So you see it was only a 0.7 degree difference between the Dr. Heat and the Smart Life. Now that may not sound like a lot, but when you're only dealing with 10 degrees, remember a 2 degree difference is 20%. Uh, so a little bit can mean quite a lot. Uh, but then we go down to the humidity. The Smart Life did only 2.6% drop, but the Dr. Heat did 5%, about double of what the other two are doing. And of course, that's because of the PTC heater. So if you're going to leave this thing on for quite a while, you might want to consider a humidifier. Uh, and now let's go over to the walls. Um, I found this interesting, that the Smart Life did 8.6 degrees on the walls, and the Dr. Heat only did 8.3. So the Smart Life actually did a little bit of a better job in heating up the walls. And based off of my research, they say this is because infrared heaters have more of a natural heat over the PTC heaters. They say the heat will, will stick a little bit better. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I'm not an expert, that's just what I read. Okay, overall, I hope you guys found this uh, video very helpful. Um, one more thing I do want to say before I go is that these do draw a lot of energy. All 1500 watt heaters draw a lot of energy. One of the biggest problems people have with them is wiring mounts, outlets mount, circuits pop. Um, remember, or breakers pop I should say, um, remember that one circuit can supply electricity to sometimes two or three rooms. 
So it's very important that you make sure you're not putting too much stress on it. Uh, we want to make sure we stay safe. Okay, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.